it's it's great to follow up uh, after Vandevar because uh, I was worried we'd be the only company building hardware right now. Um, so I mean, with that, we are solving what I view as the most kind of fundamental problem plaguing AI right now, uh, which is the energy crisis. Um, and I think we can solve it. Um, it requires a new kind of chip. And in fact, uh, AI is helping to design and manufacture it uh, right now. Um, if we can do this uh, today, um, it's a really good time for it. Uh, we know that right now, you know, just one session with ChatGPT still takes uh, 150 times more power than uh, the human brain doing um, everything that it does. And, um, you know, the big challenge with dealing with this energy crisis um, is the so-called silicon complexity crisis. Uh, that's a term I made up, actually, so you probably haven't heard of it. Um, and, you know, in, in just like software to build uh, new kinds of chips, uh, it's, it's an iteration game. So you have to be able to test and de-risk new kinds of designs very, very quickly. Um, but right now in the hardware world, that's basically impossible. And even with the simplest kinds of physical designs like memory, like DRAM, uh, basically requires a PhD uh, right now to understand you know, all that's going on uh, underneath. And so even NVIDIA right now and their efforts to improve the architectures um, in what we're used to right now, um, occasionally they wipe out the Japanese stock market and that's just like Tuesday, right? Um, and and that's, like, that's a real problem, right? And, and part of this is single points of failure, uh, complex geopolitics, uh, but how can we possibly explore fundamentally new kinds of architectures if this is what we're dealing with right now? Okay. Um, well, underneath massive chip feature sets, rules, physical equations, and so on, it's still mostly humans, um, especially test engineers. So to explore and optimize new kinds of architectures, we need to turn what took months uh, into hours while still respecting the rules of the game. And so birthed was Adam. Uh, I haven't done much user study on the naming yet. Maybe this will be the first go. Uh, but it's the first AI product that can turn uh, hardware specifications uh, into chip testing simulators. And this requires dealing with all kinds of intricate formal logic and equations in a similar way to how other research labs are trying to teach uh, AI advanced uh, math and physics, things of that sort. And with that, we've been able to explore and optimize otherwise impossible physics-based architectures already. Um, so this is a, a paper which was accepted recently. It's not um, out yet. You can find the archive there. Uh, right now, this is still proof of concept scale. But for example, matrix inversion is a, a sort of AI primitive, uh, which is very hard for GPUs to accelerate, unlike matrix multiplication. Um, and we can, we've optimized architectures which are thousands of times more uh, energy efficient um, than, than A100s. So it's a big claim, right? And, and so commercially today, interestingly, although we're a hardware company, we're in a very interesting, um, kind of rich, unique position in that we are bringing our tools to market with trusted partners right now. Um, I put some of the logos up here. Um, and, and um, you know, uh, I, I think like, uh, when you look at the ACVs, uh, they kind of reflect um, a, a sort of genuine validation that this is the difference between uh, getting hardware innovation to market and, and, and basically not at all. I think it's fair to say we're probably the most deeply partnered AI startup uh, in, in this uh, uh, semiconductor industry. And so as a semiconductor manufacturer in our own right, uh, we expect to extend these five customers into 20 next year with accelerating growth. Um, our AI tools are focusing on the simulation bottleneck and are expanding into manufacturing uh, with EVE and later into design. Um, and by 2028, we'll have a production chip uh, which achieves 1,000x energy efficiency uh, compared to GPUs at practical scales for inversion and sampling. Uh, can I do one more slide? Okay, thank you. Uh, so yeah, I just wanna say developing Atom, um, it's, it's been a super exciting journey. It's led by one of the former uh, Meta LM leads. Um, Atom bridges together transformers, reinforcement learning, uh, formal proof solvers, um, in order for LMs to handle the highly logical world of chips, uh, analogous to, to DeepMind's alpha geometry. Uh, instead of proving math theorems, uh, we're proving the chip design is up to spec. And so in engineering, we're hiring for a lot of different roles. Uh, right now, uh, between uh, reinforcement learning, uh, you know, dealing with synthetic data, formal systems, um, a bunch of different stuff. But most of all, we're looking for folks who are super enthusi enthusiastic about the world of chips, 
um, and disrupting a very uh, broken, brittle industry uh, right now. So thanks, guys.